Hi guys, my name's Yofi and welcome to Panorama, the show that brings you street football news from across the globe. And guess what? It's our 12th episode. That means it's been a year since we've been doing these videos. How time flies? Boy, I don't know. Um, but thanks to you guys who have been following us from the start and for those who are jumping on board now and following us now. So, without any more talking, actually I'm going to be talking, but to end this intro, let's get to it. About the same time that I started Panorama, I also started the Yo Street Zone Street Football Club where we nurture the young talent, um, building the next generation of street football players. Um, there's been such a progression over the year already, um, so many talents, and I can't wait for the future really. Um, if there's anybody local in the Thana area, if you wanna learn some great skills as well, check us out. Dreams do come true on the street football scene and that is in the shape of Ronaldinho collaborating with the Street Kings. What a dream. Um, they're going to be starting a new global street team, Ronaldinho's global street team. There's not too much information out there yet but it's super exciting to see and I can't wait for what they have in store. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And staying on the Ronaldinho theme, here's a lovely double nutmeg when he played with the rest of the world versus England. Um, with such ease, such grace, two nutmegs in two seconds with a no-look pass, masterclass. Kieran Beach and Sam Wright have collaborated to make Street Divisions apparel and they've made some cool designs and made some cool t-shirts for you street footballers out there to go and check out. So well done to you guys, um, I hope it goes well and um, yeah, I hope I get my 40% for this advert campaign, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, 40% right, that's, that's what we agreed in it. Anyway, yeah, go and check them out, 40% in it, <laughs> go, and check, go, go and check them out, 40%. As you know, Sean Garnier travels the world sharing street football with hundreds if not thousands of people in 1v1 Panama matches. But sometimes you might come across that one person who just gives you a bit more difficulty. And that person is Ahmed Rakaba, who ended up giving Sean Garnier two Panas. Slightly painful, but it goes to show that in the game of Panna, no one is safe, no matter how good you are. You can't always gagner. If you see that word, gagner means win in French and gagner. Okay, forget it. Move on. Staying on the Sean Garnier topic, he posted a video with Falcao where Falcao explains how to do some of his extraordinary skills. And for those who keep on asking, how do you do the rainbow flick? Yo, if you can you do the rainbow flick? No, I can't do the rainbow flick. Go and look at Falcao. Okay, Falcao can do the rainbow flick. Stop asking me for the rainbow flick. Anyway, Falcao does an amazing job with the rainbow flick. Go check that out. A great video last month was when Jean Dost went to visit the S3 crew in Paris and man oh man, oh, the panners in this are just so delightful man, it's just so delightful. Um, I'm not going to ramble on about it but you better go and check that whole video out. Um, great madness from the easy man and the S3 crew too, what more can you ask for? Panner delights. Kevin De Bruyne and Tuba had a showdown in Belgium, a 1v1 panner showdown and I have to say this match was really cool. Kevin De Bruyne, obviously, he got panned twice, but he really held his own and he showed that he does have skills in his locker. And I'm sure the average person would have been panned by Kevin as well. So props to you, um, really nice video by Elite Freestyle. Go and check that video out. Sufjan Bangkok, with a ball, mousetrap, unsuspecting member of the public, viral video, watch the video. Now for top three of the month, starting off with Grand Moves going to Kanyana. He's smooth, he's cool, he's flowy, he's on point. I've said these kind of words before, but you know the deal. Really, really nice Grand Moves. Very talented player. Total cool man. Pan of the month goes to probably the most cute girl I've seen do a panna ever. And um, she panners Yusuke Nagai, who is an amazing panna player. But she gets the timing just inch perfect. And uh, man, he just looks, he, he can feel the pain of that panna. Like I said, nobody is safe, no matter how good you are. Definite deserved winner of Panna of the Month. 
Photo of the month goes to Kevin Micker, the smooth ground mover from the Netherlands. I like this photo with the sun in the background. It seems like a kind of a wet day, and one of those days where you just practice and grind by yourself. Um, really cool picture. It makes me feel kind of peaceful for some reason. I don't know. Um, also, congratulations to him for joining the soccer in slow motion team. He's part of the international crew now. So I look forward to seeing more of what's to come. And so that about wraps it up for today's episode of Panorama. Thank you guys for following this show. I really appreciate it. Please continue to comment, like, share, subscribe to stay up to date with what we do. We should be doing a nice little giveaway video soon to mark our 12 episodes, so stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you later guys. Keep it street, I'm out of here. Cool.